Okay, so in the other video I made, I talked about an alternative that could happen, but now I'm going to be talking about what most people already suspect um, due to a lot of obvious evidence and, or well, a lot of stuff that happened. So this is the most obvious thing. It's not like more unrealistic like my other video, but you know, it's a possibility since everyone else was blaming the husband for the for the kidnap and murder case, but I'll, I just want to give an alternative. Now I'm going to talk about the more obvious case. Well, first of all, the husband is a landscaper and a volunteer firefighter kind of thing. And he, he, you know, this was during Mother's Day when, when she was, re when she was reported missing and the husband the husband was a reportedly away for a firefighter volunteer thing, At, but then when when they asked the, his supervisor or something, when they asked the captain of the volunteer firefighter um, organization, he said there was no plans for it. So that's already a big obvious red flag. Because the, the captain of the organization said there wasn't. There wasn't. So, like, but he, but Barry claimed there was. So, and another, another big red flag is Barry does landscaping. One of them being concrete. So, it, I guess it's, it just seems really obvious and, and, um, this is from a comment, but there's also other sources showing it. There are other, I just couldn't find the other. I found it before, but I X'd out of it and I couldn't find it after that. So I got a screenshot of a comment. So no, I'm not just going off from one comment. It's, there were many comments about this. So, but there was also some reports about it too. The neighbor said she heard a loud noise which sounded like one of Barry's landscaping machines around 11.30 p.m. for about 30 minutes. Very odd he ne needed to work when other people might have been trying to sleep. So yeah, it's another obvious big red flag. But the concrete, the concrete must have hit her body and they can use, they can use that tool, the U.S. radar um, for concrete scanner what you know it can they can use this but her body it's been about a year now and the case is still going on so by now her body is probably just unrecognizable at this point so it's been a year and i would suggest i would suggest like fingerprint the bike but maybe that's too late at this point maybe like dna scan fingerprint the bike so there's really only two options right now, I guess. There's the concrete and the fingerprint. Um, con like scan the concrete with the US radar uh, frequency concrete scanner, whatever the heck you want to call it. Or DNA fingerprint scanner, but on the bike. So, oh, I'll get to this. So yeah, there's Barry Morphe, Morphe, the husband, so Barry Morphe, husband of missing Colorado woman, mysteriously files for guardianship as search for a wife drags on. So everyone already suspects the husband, that it's the husband. Um, and apparently there was also a lot of like money involved, as in the wife had some money and now he owns the money, so he pretty much benefited from it and now has custody of the daughters and the wife it was reported the wife actually wanted a divorce from the husband so so many red flags it's just so obvious just no proof that's why it's been a year it's been a year but there just hasn't been any proof since the incident but the court documents do show that Barry I mean Suzanne and Barry Morphew's eldest daughter who is an adult provided consent for her daughter to be the appointed guardian of the missing woman. That's because the husband could have probably just sweet talked, sweet talked, and manipulated his daughters 
to convince them and like you know just yeah sweet talk fathers do that to daughters all the, all the time it's that kind of manipulation and yeah so that's the this 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 and the bike dna fingerprint scanning are like the only bets in the concrete scanner but those two evidence might have already disappeared by now so but if you now the final evidence i mean i'm not evidence clue final clue is this video which i'll show you now where he's offering one hundred thousand dollars for whoever finds her and it got doubled to two hundred thousand and while that can get sus suspicion off of him if they just never find her then he doesn't have to give money so that is it could just be a huge bluff you know what i'm saying this whole thing can just be a huge bluff to get suspicion off of him but take a look at his body language and how stiff he is compared to someone else who would have lost their loved one oh suzanne if anyone is out there that can hear this that has you please we'll do whatever it takes to bring you back we love you we miss you your girls need you no questions asked however much they want i will do whatever it takes to get you back honey i love you and i want you back so bad so it seems pretty stiff and there's just one comment yeah here it is when people are telling the truth your body sings with you meaning it flows with you lots of movement when you are being dissected your body is stiff and will reject what you are saying the shaking of the head is a in a no 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 position and the stiffness of the body is very telling Yeah, see, even, even the people are suspecting after that video, suspecting him after that video. So, yeah, it's just really obvious. The problem is there's just no proof. There's no, like, absolute proof. Like, that's why it's been a year and the case has just not been, you know. But it seems pretty freaking obvious because, you know, landscaping and works with concrete with the landscaping um does what was it he hid i yeah i think he just like hid the bike and lied about well he did lie about the volunteer firefighter thing so that's another red flag he lied about the firefighter thing when it it turned out he uh, wasn't d didn't go there because there wasn't one of those plannings of the firefighter um, organization because the captain said there wasn't during Mother's Day during that day. So he basically lied about that. So that's a huge deception. And the fact that the wife wanted a divorce and also he benefited from the wife, his wife's um he benefited from his wife disappearing and the two hundred thousand dollar reward is pretty much a bluff and yeah it's pretty obvious just no absolute clue i mean no absolute evidence only a bunch of obvious red flags and clues so yeah thank you guys for watching this part two and bye bye